Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2A on uh, the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics and we're on page 42 and the question I'm going to do is number 4 and it says a train accelerates from 50 meters per second to 70 meters per second over a distance of 300 meters find the acceleration and the time taken so where do we start with this? the same place we start with every one of these questions we draw our speed time graph speed because that's what's on the y-axis so that's measured in meters per second like this and time is measured in seconds so we know in this case the train accelerates from 50 to 70 meters per second so we'll say, we'll say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 so at time t is equal to 0 the velocity is 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 okay and we know that time t is equal to t, an unknown time that it's a 70 meters per second like that the acceleration is uniform because that's the only thing we're dealing with in these questions. We don't, it's uniform accelerate, uniform uh, linear motion or uniform accelerated linear motion. So it means you can connect these two points together with a line. And just, we can drop our perpendiculars. Once again, remember the area of this here will give you your distance. Uh, so how would you get the area? You'd notice that this here is a triangle and you'd be able to get the area of your triangle and the area of your rectangle and add them together. Anyway, we know that this point here is at 70, and we know this one here is at 50. So we can go about doing it that way. I'm going to try and do it. The, I'm going to try and use doing the UVAST formula. I'm going to get rid of this again, just for just to save some space. S and T. We know that initial velocity is 50. Final velocity is 70. The acceleration we don't know, but we're given that the distance is 300 meters, and we don't know the time, and we don't. Yeah, we don't know the time as well. So, what do we do? V is equal to U plus AT. If we use that formula, we have two unknowns, so that's, no, that's not really good. V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. So let's try that. V squared, U squared plus 2AS. The only part we don't know is A. So that's perfect. So we have 70 squared equals 50 squared plus 2 times A times 300. So let's just pull out the calculator and solve this so we go 70 squared minus 50 squared is equal to 2400 equals uh, 600 a therefore a is equal to uh, 2400 divided by 600 is equal to 4 meters per second squared check that with the back of the book to see if we're correct and let me see now four meters per second squared is correct okay so next we need to get the time taken to do that so we know that this is four so once again we can use any of the other formulae so v equal u plus at is what I'm going to use so 70 is equal to 50 plus uh, 4 times t therefore 20 is equal to 4t and t is equal to 5 seconds just check that at the back of the book again. That's correct. Now, there's a point to note here, and this is this is very important. We said the acceleration was equal to 4 meters per second squared. To be precise, we said it's equal to plus 4 meters per second squared. How do we know that? Because we were accelerating. We're going, the speed at which you started is less than the speed at which you finished, so you're accelerating. However, if it was going the other way around, say from 70, down to 50, you know you're decelerating because uh, we'll say um, v1 would be greater than v2. And if that is the case, you're decelerating, and in that case, you would have maybe negative 4 meters per second squared or something along those lines. So, anyway, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.